guys, how are you all doing today? Today I'm in Des Plaines, Illinois, and I've gotten a few requests lately to do some more true crime videos. So while I'm here, I figured that I would show you this. I'm on Summerdale Avenue right now, here in Des Plaines. And if you know anything about true crime, you will... This street will kind of give you the shivers, because this was the street that was lived on by John Wayne Gacy. Now I'm going to walk you down and show you the property as it is now, but first I wanted to give you a little bit of a backstory if you're not too familiar. John Wayne Gacy was just a horrible human being, but somehow he fit perfectly well into society. He was actively involved in local politics, he was a business owner, he had owned a Kentucky Fried Chicken franchise at one point, a construction company. Um, he was very well known around the community, he was tied in with the police department, and he pretty much knew everybody, but he had a alternate lifestyle to him. And it was in this house right here that he killed at least 29 innocent people and buried them mostly in the crawl space under this house. I believe there were 27 or 28 bodies in the crawl space, and then there was one other that was buried under a different part of the house. And I should add that there were a couple other victims, but they weren't found in this house. There were at least four other victims that he threw off an overpass into the Des Plaines River, somewhere down by Joliet. But this is what the location looked like back in the 70s, and this house was tore down in 1979. Now here we are back in present day. This is Summerdale Avenue right here, and this is the same sidewalk that John Wayne Gacy would have walked. And this is where his neighbors were. And things started when his neighbors started to notice a foul smell coming from Gacy's house. And it was reported several times and people, um, you know, the police started to take notice of him as a possible suspect. Now I'm not, these houses look original, so these would have been Gacy's neighbors right here. So these houses would have been here about that time, I believe. But now this property, the house was raised in 1979 and a new house was built on it. This is it right here. This house has been for sale multiple times. Most recently, I believe it was uh, up for $459,000 and they did not mention in the listing that this was Gacy's house. I'm not sure if that's required by Illinois law or not, obviously not, but they listed it as having a huge backyard, a nice fireplace and a must-see property, but they didn't mention the fact that this property is probably fairly haunted if you believe in that kind of stuff, because with just the graphic nature of what happened on this property, you can't imagine that it, it doesn't happen. Um, now, they do have a basement there that is right where the crawl space would have been, so, I mean, you tell me what you think, but I would not want to live in this house for sure, and it seems like several people have not wanted to also because the house doesn't seem to stay occupied for long. But I was here and I just wanted to show you guys quick what, uh, what the Gacy property looks like now. If you have anything to add to this or you're familiar with this story or just want to say anything, leave a comment and uh, just let us know. But uh, thanks for watching guys, have a great day, and we'll catch you on the next video.